Hi guys, this is Sergi, your lazy guy again. Today we're gonna cut a tube in half to see what's inside and understand a little better how a laser tube works. For that purpose, I have already cut this and now you're gonna see how I did it. Okay, this is the laser tube I'm planning to cut to see what's inside. It's a uh, regular CO2 laser tube. It's a 40 watt. You see it has the water port in here and the water passes through the tube and exit on this other port right here. This screw right here is for the ground wire and on the other end right here is the power. Uh, it's for the power. I've, w one thing I've noticed I can remove this cap, I didn't know. It's interesting. And inside we have a mirror. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna keep analyzing this tube to see all its components. But um, as I was explaining, I'm going to cut it like this to have a different angle and see. Hopefully everything goes fine and it doesn't break on my hands. Okay, I'm pretty much ready to cut this tube. I'm going to use a wet saw to cut it and then we'll, we'll just see what's inside. It's uh, right there. Okay, this is a laser tube. As you know, this is the one that generates the beam and should it, and it's and the beam is guided through the mirrors all the way to the lens where it gets focused in a small point and do the actual cut. So today we're going to see a little more the inside of the tube and how it works. As you all know, the laser tube has a little screw on this side, right here, where you connect the power and all the electricity travels and excites all the CO2 that is inside, which creates the actual beam and shoots this way. Once the beam is in the outside, it comes through this lens and uh, also has here the wire, the screw for the ground wire. Okay, um, this is the outport where the water exits. And of course, it also has a water inlet here. The water passes through the tube to cool it down. Otherwise, the heat generated by the beam will break the glass uh, sooner or later. But um, that's something we already know. But I wanted to cut this tube in half. Well, not in half. I want to cut it through to see a little better the anatomy of a laser tube. So let me show you. We can clearly see three layers. The first layer, the outer layer, is the one that just contains everything. It's like a, just a container for the whole thing. The second layer, this tube, between this tube and the inner tube is where the water passes in, uh, where the water passes through. It's continuously refrigerating the beam. The beam travels across the inner tube, the smaller one. Okay, so just to recap, the outside is just a container. The middle one is the one that contains the water to refrigerate the tube. And the third one, the one inside, is where the beam passes through and where the CO2 gas is located, of course. Now, when the electricity passes through the tube, um, it excites all the CO2 gas and it starts to shooting beams in every direction, pretty much. Um, but the good thing about this is that if you see that coloration and in the inner tube what I have learned is that it has some material that is partially reflecting so even when the beam is going up that material reflects it and makes it go down and then again up and all the way until it gets a straight 
and passes through the, the lens that the tube has in the end. Now, there might be some other ones that go the other direction, but in the other end, it has a, a mirror right there. Let me unscrew that and I'll show you. I need an extra hand. There we go. So on this end, they have put a, another mirror. So if some of the beam is coming in this direction, as I was explaining, and hits that mirror, it goes back again and does the same thing. Up, down, up, until it gets straight and shoot up to the uh, mirror. Okay, these are both of the ends of the tube and we're comparing them now. Um, guys, before I can proceed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, okay? Thank you. Well, um, something that I've noticed is that this port also goes around the lens of this tube has to cool it down, I guess. So the water goes there, passes through the little hose, and then goes across the whole entire tube to keep it cool. Of course, that goes all the way and exits through this port right here. And go back to the chiller maybe and comes back again and, and you know, do the cycle again. Uh, you can clearly see that this port goes into the middle tube, which is, which is this one right here, because as, as we were um, talking, the inner, inner tube, it's the one that has the beam, the actual laser beam. Okay, let's put this on the side. <clears throat> now, something that I've noticed and I find interesting is that coil right there. Honestly, I don't know what its function is. So if you guys have an idea, please let me know in the comments below. Because I see that it comes from just the... It starts right there. Comes down, goes across the inner tube, and then just and it's right there, but I don't know its function. What does it do or what's it used for? Okay, so if you have any idea or something, just uh, let me know because I have no clue what that is for. Okay guys, that has been all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. We have learned a lot from the, how a laser tube works. Hey, don't do this with a working tube, eh? Don't do it. Okay, well anyway, um, if you have questions, comments, or suggestions, what do you want to see in the next episode? Um, just write a comment down below and I'll read it and I'll reply to you, okay? Thank you and see you next time.